Hi, it's Gary from KDX Electronics. Today we'll be going over your C7400 ER unit. We'll be setting it up and we'll start doing some tests. So on the back of the unit, you can plug in the AC plug and hit the power switch. As the unit boots up, it'll show you the model number, the firmware version, and if it passes any internal diagnostics. And right now we're looking at the global screen with no adapters installed. The first thing you want to set up is probably the date and time. To do that, press the menu button, cycle down until you see system setup, press enter, and look for date time. Here you can adjust the date and the time for the unit. Accept changes, yes and I'll update the time. The next thing to do is probably to enter in your company name. To do that, press the menu button, cycle up to option controls, and select company name. You can use the up and down feature to adjust each character and left and right feature to adjust each category. Once you have the statement that you want, press enter to save, and it'll save it onto the system. This is good for if you want to print off service labels or anything that the unit uses in standalone mode. The unit is set up to talk to a series of external devices. To adjust that feature, press the menu button, cycle up to system setup, press enter, and look for a serial port device. Press enter. The different devices you get select from are printer, label maker, terminal, and battery shop. Battery shop is our software found on uh, PC computers. Uh, this is for brother printers. Uh, printer is for serial enabled printing devices like the Epson dot matrix printer. Label maker is compatible with Dymo SC450 label printers. Once you have the selection that you want, press enter to save and enter to confirm. And this is how you set up your C7400-C battery analyzer. And for more information, click on the catalog, click on our website, you can leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.